What up, what up, what up, man? It's your boy Shaw. Shaw vs. A Bite Podcast, man. Voice of Detroit. We got episode motherfucking 103, man. We got motherfucking host, actor, shit, comedian, motherfucking party promoter, whoa, whoa. motherfucking script writer, hey. motherfucking, motherfucking jack of all trades, man. Hell yeah. Motherfucking Will Cook, What's aka good, Real Will, man. What's good, man? What's going on, bro? Appreciate you for having me, man. I've been a huge fan of the show, man. Y'all wild on here. I'm glad <laughs> I could finally come on here, man. Mm-hmm. Just appreciate you for having me come through, dog. Words sure. can't explain, man. Man, I, I appreciate, you, appreciate you being patient with me, bro. Cause a lot of niggas, if I don't get them niggas on within the first month or two, the niggas that block me, unfollow me, like damn, cuz. It be like that, bro. <laughs> like I, I know the business side of it. Like mm-hmm. it, it comes to a point where plans change, or yeah, you yeah, might yeah. get somebody who you never thought you would get. For sure. And for this sure. and that, man. They yeah. they knock niggas off for uh, the Tonight Show sometimes. <laughs> so yeah. I ain't tripping, bro. Yeah. I'm here or not. So it is for what sure. it is. For sure, man. Like I say, man, we do everything. We start everything with a salute, bro. But it can't be typical. It can't be your mom, your pops. It can't be. Your uh, your, your like lady. God and- yeah, it can't be your lady. It can't be your kids. It gotta be somebody outside of that close okay. net. You know, what I'm saying of a people. So it could be like cousins, homies, like anybody you want to salute and give them their flowers while you still breathing. Shoot, sure. well, I want to salute um, IB Media. They right. the ones who just gave me my latest acting role. I played Rodney in the movie Black Lives. They mm-hmm. gave me like this was really my first like professional like mm-hmm. acting opportunity. Like they sure. weren't playing on set. Mm-hmm. They had all the, the the sound equipment and it was just real different. Yeah. yeah, so they brung out a real professional side of me in the acting to the point where I learned a lot about myself even more. And I, sure. I definitely got to shout them out. And if anybody want to get into acting, you know what I'm saying, follow me. I can send you their info. Because yeah. they, they look for people all the time. You know what for I'm sure, saying? For so, sure. Hell yeah, man. I've been trying to get in these roles, man. Play third number three for long. Right, know? yeah. I just wanna be That's what I like. started off. Start off <laughs> as. I just want to hold the gun. Put Drug that shit Drug dealer number five. Quick as hell. <laughs> You just in the group like Hey Hey, little tough nigga Right That's your only But you know what's crazy That's how I actually got started Acting like Years and years ago My first movie was Betrayal It's on YouTube Okay Um, Lucy Gavali She made the movie Yeah And I The way I came across that movie Was I actually used to make clothes Back in the day Mm -hmm. So I came across the movie First Cause my clothes Were just supposed to be in it Mm -hmm. Yeah, somebody from the cast ended up dropping out. So yeah. she was like, you want this one role? I had one line, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I knocked that line out to yeah. the point where one of the main stars yeah. ended up falling out. She was like, you wanted, you did that one line so yeah, good, wanted, bro. Yeah, yeah, for sure. And I even, I went into that one line on some AJ Johnson shit. Yeah, like from yeah, Friday, yeah, Smokey yeah, back yeah, and taking sure. the shit. Yeah. Sometimes you got to take the minimal <laughs> and make that shit way no, bigger. Than sure. what, and when you can take the minimal, yeah. they going to give you the bigger. Yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Because you looked at that one line like, shit, this is my opportunity. Bro, I was in the mirror like, <laughs> roll the dice. No, roll the dice. Yeah, yeah. Uh, roll the dice. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Nick, I was really practicing this one one line, bro, <laughs> but perfected that shit. No, you know for what sure. I'm saying? But that's just like, dog, when your opportunity come, you was ready for that shit. That's just mm-hmm. like, nigga, when it comes to sports and shit, dog. If a nigga riding the bench, most niggas yep. quit. Like, nigga, fuck that. I ain't get no playing for time. Sure, for sure. Instead of being like, all right, I'm going to wait this opportunity and be like, nigga, prove these niggas wrong or mm-hmm. bust their ass in practice and shit like that. But you know what's crazy? Speaking of the basketball terminology, even just like that, I'm the type of person that even if I don't get PT, nigga, I'm still studying all this shit to the point where now I fuck around and be a coach. Now I'm telling all y'all niggas what to do. Hell yeah. Hell like yeah. real shit. You know what I'm saying? Everybody can't be LeBron. Yeah, for you sure. Might as well throw that shit out the window. Hell yeah. You can try. Yeah. Like I ain't saying don't try. Yeah. But still, if you if you can't be that, don't knock yourself for down sure. to the point where you feel like you nothing. Yeah. I gotta tell my kids that. Man, I tell my sons and my well, my daughter too young right now, but <laughs> mm-hmm. I tell my, my my son that all the time, bro, like like nigga, just keep working, keep yeah. working, dog. Cause I coach too, and so many little niggas. Well, I ain't gonna say little niggas, but <laughs> so, many, so many little kids, bro, that give up off the first thing. Look, little, little adversity, they want to just be like, man, you know what? Fuck this shit. I'm quitting. I ain't getting to play the time I want. We ain't winning. Bro. It's so much shit, nigga. Like you have a team of 14, 15, and the end of the season is eight. My oldest would have pissed you off. <laughs> he got in the basketball this year. Yeah. He went to the first practice, bro. I was geek, nigga. I'm geek. I'm like, oh shit. I'm gonna be making signs. I'm a shit talking parent. I will buy him sleeves and shit. So I'm geek. I'm like, yeah, this nigga about to play basketball. This nigga came home from the first practice. I'm like, how was practice? I ain't doing that no more. Like, what the fuck? Duh, duh. That nigga said the little nigga threw the ball too hard. Man. And he said, I got that. My hands was thinking, I just said, fuck this shit. Duh. Like, no, what, nigga? <laughs> nigga put all his signs back in the closet. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Good dog, that's how I was yesterday, dog. My son, ninth grade, bro. He has uh, 
He had a uh, strong 15, 16 points, though. I mean, that bitch going crazy. White people look at me like, this nigga. You got to. This guy. You got to, nigga. bro. You got to LeVar Ball that shit. Yeah, yeah, you for sure. like real shit. And niggas knocked him because Man. he boosted his son so much. No, we got to show LeVar Ball love, bro. Got to. Like, this nigga got three kids that's. Two of them in the league, one of them in the G League, bro. He said he's this still shit. trying. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like he, at the end of the day, that nigga said my kids gonna make it, yep. and they did. And he said the youngest one gonna be a star, and that, and that nigga a bad boy, <laughs> yeah, bro, yeah, for sure. So we got motherfucking we, but dog, you already know how the media is, dog. They don't want to show that love to him. No. He spoke that shit into existence. He raised him. He said what he wanted to say, and he like, oh, he a bad father. He, yeah. he do this, he do that. No, he, he a do real too, nigga. He who, real nigga, who got bro. Blood for his kid and believe in his kid. You know who they don't not and did the exact same thing that he did. What up? Pay man that. Oh yeah, 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 for sure. Did the same thing, bro. Yeah. My Nick, my boys is gonna be goats. Yeah. They gonna win Super Bowl. Look back when they was in college and, and high, he did the same. They did yeah. not knock him for that shit. He just wasn't as voiceless. You no. know what I'm saying? Like you know how it is, dog. Like. When we say the way our, the way we talk our body language, nigga, scare motherfucking mm -hmm. soul out of these white motherfuckers, dog. Mm -hmm. That's all it is. So you come in that bitch talking a certain way, like, oh shit, you too aggressive. Mm -hmm. Yo, kid, hold on, right. buddy. Uh -huh. <laughs> like, like the I'm be like, shit, y'all hear them cheerleaders saying, be aggressive, nigga. I'm Hell doing yeah. what the fuck they saying, nigga. Hell yeah. For real, nigga. <laughs> they do be saying that shit. Hey, be aggressive, <laughs> be, be aggressive. You goddamn right. Yeah. Shoot that bitch. <laughs> I'm trying to make mixtapes and shit in the middle of the game. Like, stop moving, bro. Duh, fuck his hell, dog. But shit, man, it's 2022, bro. Crazy motherfucking last two years, man. Mm -hmm. How would you, uh, without giving too much of what you do, bro, because we're going to get into that, how, how would you uh, assess your 2021, man? How was it, bro? It was a learning experience in a positive way. Yeah. I gained so much from that time to myself and that's that cool. isolation. Hell yeah. I, I did a documentary for my family. You oh, know yeah, what I'm saying? We definitely got about that because that's like, what I had it, idea on too. It, um, I learned, like I said, I learned so much about myself because I had the time to learn about myself. Sure, yeah. That's one thing that a lot of people don't do, I feel, especially mm -hmm. when it comes to your sanity. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I had to go back and even when I went back, I learned that I masked a lot of shit. Mm -hmm. it didn't properly grow from a lot of shit. And probably didn't even know it until you really lived Didn't back even there. know it, bro. Yeah. Didn't even know it. Just think about tears or da da da. Yeah. Once I got past that shit, I'm able to move. I'm able to breathe. I'm able to think. I'm able to be creative. Yeah. So sure. that time frame really helped me to move all those things. That's why I was able to get myself into a lot of things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? For sure. So that shit, that isolation kind of like helped you yeah. as far as like your creative side. Because mm -hmm. a lot of motherfuckers did get super creative once they. You know, besides taking PP loans and motherfuckers. Yeah, I was just about to say, I ain't gonna lie. Yeah. The loans helped the nigga too, bro. <laughs> and, you know, For sure. <laughs> I so, bought my first mic off a loan, so I ain't gonna... That PP shit yeah, helped yeah. the nigga too, bro. For sure, man. You must have did it the right way, man. You right here with us, dog. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> dog, yeah. But no, that, that shit, it helped niggas ground, I, I believe, bro. Mm -hmm. And it made niggas realize that they can do this shit and they ain't gotta be working for nobody. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? If you yeah. had your money the right way. Mm -hmm. I ain't get that shit. I was kind of scared, nigga. I, I ain't know what to do and shit, dog. Mm -hmm. I would fuck it up and been locked up and shit yeah yeah <laughs> well, I, same way did you bro. have any uh did you have any downs for uh, a year like something that kind of you know fuck things up or some shit that you felt that you wanted to do but you didn't you know get accomplished or whatever man i definitely like as far as my skits i definitely but that's why i'm about to start like with this year i'm getting back to the skits but my skits slow down like yeah. i kind of did want to fall back from social media a little bit too because in that time frame of me getting focused and this and that, you still see people do shit. Mm -hmm. And you don't want to feel like you're missing out or get sidetracked. So For I sure. really had to remove myself from social media yeah. to get focused. Yeah. And you know what I'm saying? But one thing that I can say, like, I do regret is I feel like when the world shut down, mm -hmm. I was already like in a... Yeah. In a spot to where yeah. I'm moving forward, yeah, but then yeah, I had to stop, yeah. go backwards, then move forward again. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Hell yeah, for sure, for sure, dog. That shit crazy that you you like a lot of motherfuckers say that shit, bro. As far as like, is, you feel like social media is a distraction, dog. Yeah, like, hell yeah. We say you had to fall back. Like, what's some shit? Like, of course it helped, but what 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 ways do it hurt? Like, I because I, you saying that I mean, you feel like you ain't doing enough, and you see other niggas that could be perfect a way. example. I hate, I hate how. And you probably I don't know if you go through the same thing or whatever, but yeah. even sharing somebody's shit. Sharing your oh, your shit. your product, your yeah. show, your idea, whatever the case may be. A nigga can share a meme that you got on your page, bro. Quick <laughs> Man, as hell. For sure. 
you will see 13 shares of a funny cat looking up. Yeah. But <laughs> my product or whatever I'm trying to, y'all want, I gotta no. beg niggas for that. No, you or right. you see certain people who are willingly to do that for somebody else, and it's like, but you, we supposed to be on the same level yeah. as that person, but you Man. don't treat me the same. Hell yeah, though. But that's that's some shit that I I, I went through and I posted that shit, dog. Like not too long ago, bro. Like. Niggas are, niggas are post a stranger Way before they post you Just because they feel like They don't want you to get Out of your situation Because yeah. you're gonna be Ahead yeah. of them Above yeah. them and shit It's envy It's yeah. envy at the end. I, had, I really learned that With my clothes Yeah Like Yeah nigga I'm charging $40 for this shirt mm. You know what I'm saying I'm putting work in it I'm yeah, not half assing sure. this shit Like I, I put real design. I didn't do Joy Road Versus the world yeah. I did real <laughs> shit You know what I'm saying yeah, for sure. So yeah I want <laughs> I want time For the money That I'm putting no, in fast, fast, fast. But you you coming on me like this forty dollars a lot, but you also online sporting this hundred dollar shirt yeah. that you saying that I paid a bun for this bitch, yeah, and yeah. you act like you don't got a problem with that shit. Yeah, for sure. For but sure. like you said, the main thing about it is the difference is, nigga. I post a video. I'm at dinner with my family. Mm -hmm. You gonna. My money yeah. sent you to dinner, nigga. Hell yeah, for sure. Hell you yeah. gonna feel like everything that I do after that transaction is all for just you. Mm -hmm. So especially if I move forward, you gonna feel like, nigga, why is you moving? I'm still right here. Yeah, for sure. Hell yeah. And that's what, it, dog, that's what it is. It's fucked up, bro. But sometimes you just gotta be like, man, fuck it. I'm just yeah, gonna you still got, do it. Because you gonna get more love from strangers regardless. Being your but people. I had to do the same thing. Like, like, like I said, if I'm not getting no shares, yeah. and like you said, you're not going to get shares from people you know. Hell no. Nah. I need to meet more strangers then. Yeah, hell you yeah. You get what I'm saying? I need to come across more strangers then. Yeah, because that's one thing I think I'm trying to work on within myself, bro. It's like, fuck it, man. I ain't going to even dwell on my niggas or my family or my people ain't going to mm -hmm. share it. Fuck it. I'm still yeah. going to put this shit out there. Whoever see it, see it. They, because like, like my, my nigga Hustle said on the last show, they see it. Mm -hmm. They they, they, they going to see it, but... The niggas, they, just because they ain't on knowledge and posted, they low key they envious and hating because yeah. this nigga still doing this shit. Mm -hmm. Nigga ain't quit yet. Nigga. Right. Like, one, you know one, episode 103. You know what I'm yeah. saying? They expect you to follow episode five. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Or they wait for that big name. Like, oh, nigga, you got him. You working. Yeah, but then yeah. as soon as somebody else on to come up, oh, shit, fuck that. Mm -hmm. nigga, it is mm -hmm. what it is. You know what I'm saying? I was like that on my radio show. Like, I was a type. I don't want the big names. Yeah. I want the niggas who don't get the shine. I want the niggas who need the attention mm -hmm. to feel like, nigga, I discovered somebody. I helped that person. I don't need side right. of baby right now. That shit gonna feel good as hell yeah. when you're like, dog, that nigga was on my motherfucking show. And, and to see him now, yeah. like even um, Choir Boy, Qu Choir Boy, yeah. um, Cartier, he the singer. Yeah, I know. I follow him. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I, 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 he sent me, this was years when I had my radio show. Yeah. He was like, I'm new singing, blah, blah, blah. I played his song no problem. Yeah, Boost, yeah. It, it was a good song. For sure. I ain't even like I'm just it was shitty. No, yeah, it yeah, was a yeah, good. Yeah, you yeah. deserve to get this play. For sure. You get what I'm now. He doing halftime shows at the Pistons. Yep. yep so I when I see yeah. something like that, it's it's like dang, that's what's up. Cause yeah, I yeah. remember when you said you want to do a lot of this stuff, and yeah. I feel like I helped you and now accomplish you're doing your it. goals, yeah, bro. Yeah. And like I said, you playing that song could put some confidence in him. Yeah. Like, damn, fine. Somebody ain't spent my mm -hmm. shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, I done got that a lot, bro. Yeah, like, bro. that's the first time I heard myself on the radio. It boot, it's no different from the first time I saw myself on the big screen. I want to do that again. Hell yeah. Facts. I never felt this energy. This is good energy. It's dip. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, hell that's yeah, all bro. that is. Hell yeah, man. Shit, man. On some, on some weird shit, though, bro. Like, we, we was talking about the year. What we went through is 2021. It's 2022 now and shit. Dog, you ever... <laughs> You gotta be thinking about like nigga like yesterday we get drunk and shit drinking and mm -hmm. shit me and my cousin and shit and we just talking about like the afterlife bro like like he was talking about like how he gets scared to death thinking about nigga when he not in this bitch I'm like dog me too mm -hmm. like nigga since I was 11 years old I thought about that shit be fucking panicking and get scared and shit mm -hmm. but I was like I told this nigga that shit too what if this shit just a rerun what if nigga we are we ain't living in the, in the, in, the, in the present right now we living in the past. And mm -hmm. but we just don't know that shit, bro. I'm like, nigga, what if you pass away and come back in this bitch since the sixties, nigga? Mm -hmm. He's like, hell yeah, I'll be happy as hell. <laughs> I, be, I on some real shit, I believe in a lot of like spiritual shit like that. Yeah. Like I do believe it's the afterlife. I do believe we can be reincarnated. I do believe in a lot of that shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And I think that's why I live the way I live, because I feel like when I come back, a lot of shit I do now, I'm gonna get the reward off that shit. Mm -hmm. Finally, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But as far as like I said, the spiritual shit, like even it's times where I be feeling like nigga, I got the sauce because yeah. I think of some shit or what if this happened and then that shit happened, I be yeah. like, no, oh, I got the mojo, nigga. <laughs> yeah, I swear to God, I got the code, <laughs> nigga at the crib meditating on <laughs> shit, quick as hell. <laughs> Cause he got one thing right. Hell yeah! Now he's trying to give advice. To everybody. Right, yeah. look, bro. Let me tell you this shit, nigga. I'm trying to tell you, bro. Hell yeah, hell yeah, man. What's well, it, man? 
before we get into everything, though, I always want to know how it is when niggas was growing up, bro. Like, like, uh, and that's one thing I said I was gonna stop doing. Say niggas so much. It's just hard. Dog. Yeah, it's hard, it's bro. Me, we niggas, man. Like, it ain't negative. <laughs> I like you just called the little niggas niggas. Like, it ain't it ain't negative, bro. It's it's shit. We niggas, bro. We we Duh. won. Yeah, <laughs> we all. unit. Yeah. Yeah, I'm three. a nigga. You a nigga. Yeah, shit. Niggas on three. This bitch, dog. Now, uh, <laughs> I wasn't growing up, bro. Like, who was in the household, man? East, west, all that good stuff, bro. Ooh, we, man. Shit. West side, of course. Greenfield yeah. off Puritan. I was a little Puritan nigga. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, for I sure. had my mom and my dad, but yeah. that was. How can I explain it? It, it wasn't easy. My dad, he was your typical alcoholic, fuck up, in and out. My mom, that was my best friend, bro. For sure. Like, she did everything. Like, I can be on a podium like KD. Like, you the real MVP. Yeah, you yeah, know what yeah, I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah. Get through some and tough situations. Even, like, when I lost her, because mm -hmm. I lost her at 13. Yep, yep. I see I, that. I, that yeah, I lost her to, um, yeah, yeah. I lost her to um, breast cancer at 13. Then I lost my dad mm -hmm. to cancer from throat cancer at 14. Damn. So it went from her doing everything yeah. to the point where I didn't know nothing because she did everything to the sure. point where she not there no more. Now I got to do everything on hell my own. Yeah, hell yeah. That was a hard transition because on top of that, we hood, we hood niggas, bro. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I need that male figure to look up to. Mm -hmm. Might have been Uncle Phil off fucking yeah, yeah. For, like yeah, real for shit. Sure. No, for sure. It, it, it might have been the nigga down the street with all the hoes, bro. Hell yeah. So I, I had to look for that aspect, and I had to learn a lot of shit the hard way and yeah. this and that. But the way that I am now, because a lot of people here, like, even losing my parents like that, yeah. a lot of niggas be like, dog, you should have been wild as fuck, nigga. Yeah, no, no, for sure. You should have been. I hear niggas lose their grandma, and they talking about shooting up a yeah. bank, bro. But you never, yeah. For sure. You know what I'm no, saying? Fast, but you never know until you're in that situation, because I lost my mom. I was older. I lost my mom when I was 24, 25. Lost my pops when I was 13 and shit. Mm -hmm. So it's just like, once you get through it, you can say what you uh, how you will uh, be wilding out and, sh and shit until it happened. Then you like, dog, all right. Now I gotta make this shit work. Yeah, Cause yeah, got nigga, to. you know when you got your mom, nigga, you can fuck up, nigga. Your whole life, you always got mm -hmm. mom to lean on, nigga. Like mm -hmm. you gotta come back home, you always got mom. And that's what it was when I didn't. Have, it's like, dog, I fuck up. Now I gotta live with this shit. Mm -hmm. And I had to learn not to fuck up. And I still, look, I had to get my GED. I had to do a lot of dumb shit. I don't went to jail before. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. So like you said, it, it come to a point where even I had to like, I, I want to make her proud. You know what I'm saying? I want to do different. I got kids now. It's, yeah. it's it's a whole different aspect of life. But I feel like. All the hardship that I did go through when I was younger really did push me to be what I am today. Hell to yeah. be the actor no. and uh, all the hats Adversity that I wear. Adversity made the best niggas, man. Yep. Like, you know what I'm saying? Damn. Adversity made the best guys. It do. <laughs> it do because no, you, you got to think it about do. it, bro. When You got something to work for. Yeah. But if you already got it, you ain't you don't got shit to work yeah, for. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For sure, man. And like I said, and then you not having a father around like... Like then you gotta figure out how to be a man. It's gonna be trial and error. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Cause like I said, you you feeling that voice. So you seeing it, my man riding with the with the foes and shit. Nigga got the hoes. Like oh, I want to be that nigga. Yeah. But then you see a nigga who working and making money, got family. Oh, that was that, the, that was the main issue growing up is who am I supposed to be? Yeah. Cause for sure. like you see these different aspects of men. Yeah. Not only that, these girls. I'm still a little boy. I like girls. Yeah, yeah, for and sure. <laughs> people fail to realize, bro, just because they a uh, uh, eighth grade girl or a seventh grade girl, da, 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 yeah. they see they mama, so they emulate them too. Hell yeah. Why is it? Why am I in the seventh grade and you asking me, do I got bread? Yeah, for sure. Nigga, Hell I'm in yeah. the seventh fucking grade. <laughs> I know, nigga. <laughs> but you make you're saying I need a boyfriend with bread. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. I'm only in the cell. What the fuck am I gonna do to get that bread that she's saying that I need to get her? I want her. For sure. I had to question myself a lot. Yeah. Am I supposed to sell drugs? Am I supposed to go to school? Yeah. Am I supposed to fight all the fucking time? Because then, then you, because you compete now too. Because mm -hmm. like I said, you is competing for that, for that, for that chick attention and stuff like that, dog. And that's when you see these girls get grow up. I ain't trying to bask women and shit. No, like no, said. not. But they grew up with those same habits, those same tendencies, tendencies and all dog, that, bro. And they still chasing niggas with money and, mo and niggas still doing stuff for the women, fucking up. So it's the, like, it's, it's both fucked up on each end. The thing about it, like you said, because when they had the same shit as they older, when you older, now you know that you only want my money. So yeah. I'm going to treat you as such. Hell it's yeah. it's a, like you said, it's a fucked up circle that everybody involved in. Exactly. Because maybe if that nigga would have got that real love earlier, he would not feel like. Yeah. How he feel now or yeah, looking? You sure. get what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hell yeah, dog. Hell yeah, man. Now, and uh, cause I was gonna ask you too. I need that link, dog. Is the doc completed? Yeah, yep, yep. So he did. He did a documentary on his life, bro. And that was some. That was some stuff. Like usually, people wait to do a documentary once they old and mm -hmm. they accomplish so much stuff. You did your job right in the midst of you. You know, saying what you're doing and stuff like mm -hmm. that. Was that strictly just 
for your kids or for your for your lady and stuff like that to see like if something were to happen to you because I always say with this podcast if anything ever happened to me my kids got something they can look back yeah. on like dog my dad was wild ass mm-hmm. nigga or he funny as hell or he damn I still can learn some oh, shit, shit without me being around yeah it was definitely it started off more of just a family thing but as as I got got uh, more into it and the more I talked about da da da. My my girl even told me like yo message. It's a lot of people who go through what yeah, yeah. you can help a lot of kids besides ours, and it, and that's one thing that I like doing too. Yeah, I'm, I'm very helpful, bro. Sure, you know what sure. I'm saying? But it, at first it started out just for them, but it evolved into a everybody thing because everybody go through shit. Yeah, hell yeah. And everybody got a story to the point where you might not relate to minds, but if you have a story to tell, tell your kids. Yeah, for sure. Hell Let yeah. them know the real sometimes, mm-hmm. and that's the, that's why I did it because y'all know me as dad. Mm-hmm. The perfection is that If you hungry I get you food yeah. You need lights on I pay the bill For sure. But know the person behind that Hell yeah. Know what well, I went through yeah, I went through how I was growing up Yeah Hell same yeah. sneaky shit you, Nigga I been did that <laughs> yeah, I been sure. did that bro For sure Hell yeah and It's crazy man how, how old is your oldest kid? He about to be 13 next oh, week Oh shit yeah And that's when it's and gonna this get one, Oh he a little horn dog <laughs> now bro Look at this nigga cell phone nigga Duh. Chinese asses and shit Like come <laughs> on bro <laughs> Duh. This nigga man, man I be like I'm, my my son just got his first little girlfriend though he's fifteen and shit though like and we I was having conversations about what, the goofy shit not to do bro mm-hmm. like don't be seeing your piece yeah, out yeah yeah you, you know what yeah I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? nigga don't be getting don't be getting no pictures and shit like that bro because mm-hmm. like I said like nigga that shit soon as y'all y'all beef nigga look at this, I got this nigga piece this nigga say he love me like. Nigga, I'm like this day and age, nigga. The screenshot is motherfucking bad lethal, boy. Nigga. And you gotta, you gotta teach that. Just like back in the day, my brother taught me, don't leave no voicemail <laughs> on the girl phone, bro. <laughs> don't be Crying on that bitch shit. begging and shit, nigga. Yo, Please just call answer the phone. Next Yo. message, bitch. Fuck you here. <laughs> Next message. I'm sorry. Yo, Let me chill the fuck out, dog. Because every time you call, you get nigga a different, different emotion, emotion <laughs> bro. Hey, for more, you all over the place. Nigga, you done been mad sad eight times, bro. Hey, and don't let it be because of something that you did, dog. And you cheated. And you fucked up. And you got the bitch, I should answer the fucking phone. I'm 13. <laughs> bitch, hello? <laughs> yeah. The fuck? She playing to her daddy. I don't like how he talked to me. Duh. Like, oh, shit, <laughs> you, dog. You can call her bitch. You say you love her. You call her queen. Right. All in one Queen, <laughs> queen slut. <laughs> Nasty ass. Hell yeah. Bitch, you probably suck a dick anyway. <laughs> right. Call back. Hey. Uh, you, you, do, do you suck that? Wait, do you? Because <laughs> you uh, if you do, I can squash it, then we can just. <laughs> That's it, funny, dog. Because like I said, I told this story. I ain't gonna go into deep detail, but nigga, I ain't got caught up playing a whole verse on a motherfucking voicemail. Oh uh, yeah, nigga, what? <laughs> he explained everything I want to fucking say, bro. Hell yeah, like, like, uh, yeah, I just want to say this, nigga. Right. <laughs> Hold on. Man. You hear a nigga press the play? Hold on. <laughs> I gotta rewind. I went too far. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. yeah, girl. Girl, you, you know Girl, what I'm saying? Nigga played the deep, the dark skin. I mean the uh, the deep voice nigga from uh, Boys to Men. Bro, I done did, uh, bro, I done did verses to the point where <laughs> nigga, I done had to send a, a pause it, call back, do another. Here go the rest of this verse, bitch. You getting the rest of this shit? <laughs> this a long one, nigga. Yeah, dog. So when you we got kids, you definitely gotta school them on on the things. Go. I mean, they gonna they gonna fuck up. They gonna mess up. They gonna do some stupid shit. Mm-hmm. But you gotta let them know like what not to do to so you won't be out here looking goofball, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, and I told my son, like, nigga, you 15, alright, bro. Don't sit here and be like, oh, this is my girlfriend's the only girl I talk to on the phone, mm-hmm. nigga. No, nigga, cause you ain't gonna be a, a middle a high school nigga one time. Yeah. So nigga, you still got some chicks, nigga. You can be cool with other chicks, bro. Mm-hmm. Like nigga, you fifteen, nigga. Gonna be mm-hmm. saying be in a committed relationship, nigga. Like I, they used <laughs> to tell me that too. I never understood it until, like yeah. you said, you you realize like I when I was young, I wasn't young, bro. Yeah. I tried to be grown so much, I yeah, didn't enjoy yeah. that shit. Hell yeah, nigga. Like you said, you in high school, and ain't, ain't nobody saying it's not such thing as high school sweethearts. And oh yeah, and it, it happens. But it's people who kill themselves, yeah, because they can't be with a girl or Man, a guy. You get real. what I'm saying? Because they so, enjoy themselves. Crazy because they was with this one chick and they focused on this one chick they whole time. Mm-hmm. And as soon as she go ahead and get loose, psh, like I said, and it's sad to say, but that shit can lead to some old suicide, yeah. homicide type shit. You feel mm-hmm. me? So, I learned a lot about, um, like I said, mental health during, yeah. during the pandemic and shit like that. And one thing we don't consider is mental health and kids. Yeah. Like yeah, we yeah. look at them like they kids and they don't have feeling. They don't yeah. have emotion. Did it? Yeah. It was a. A ten year old killed herself last year because he was getting harassed on TikTok. Yeah, man. Yeah. So you got like, it don't stop at school yeah. no more. It's because online bullying shit is serious, yeah. bro. It's it's serious, it's on your head, dog. And like I said, 
as even when it gets to like fighting, dog, nigga, if you lose, you already know the camera out. Yeah. That motherfucker blasted all on social media. My mm -hmm. son just showed me a, a fighting girl getting jumped on at the school, or whatever. Like, so now you gotta live with that. Everybody talking mm -hmm. shit about you, so that can drive you crazy, bro. And like you said, mental, uh, mental health. You could have went through that jump with losing both your parents at such a young age. You could have been going through some shit, and you probably did realize you was going through some shit and didn't mm -hmm. know once you got older and shit. Mm -hmm. And then the doc, your sister played a big role. Your older sister, bro. Like first off. How many years are y'all apart? Seven. All right. And how, how do you feel like your life would have been affected differently if she wasn't around when you went through the whole transition losing your parents? The crazy thing about it is, like, my mom, she left me with money. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't like just exploiting that, but she bust her ass to do that. So I'm a sure. college. She left me with money. My yeah. sister didn't want me to be with anybody because she felt like, yeah. Niggas will really be wanting the money compared sure. to really making you go to school. Mm -hmm. And like when my mom and dad passed, like that was one of the first talks we had. We sat mm -hmm. down. She was like, I really want you to stay with me because yeah. I care about your future, bro. For I'm sure. not just trying to take your money. Mm -hmm. I care about you mm -hmm. and what you're going to become. She was everything yeah. that I needed For when sure. I lost my mama. If yeah. I didn't have my sister, I would have been out here a while and yeah. on some other shit. Yeah, because you had nobody kind of like get you on your on your shit. Bro, she kept me on my shit. Like, she was the type that if I did have more than one girlfriend as a teenager, she would tell me like, I'm going to tell her. Yeah. <laughs> I don't like that. Yeah, you know sure. what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah. she's a female. She yeah. gets to you. She lives through it. So yeah. why would she allow somebody else to go through that? So she's just bowing you to the man that you need to yeah, be. And shit for, like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, even though you're young, you're not understanding. Yeah. But, you, you know, it make you, like you said, it make you how you are even now. Even my brother, my brother was, my older brother, he was the player. Okay, yeah, Like, yeah. he was, nigga, 100. But he still find out he got kids to this day. <laughs> yeah, damn. Like, real shit. Yeah. And she didn't want me to be that. Yeah, for sure. So it's fucked up to hear, like, I don't want you to be like your brother. It's not nothing negative. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but you know I don't want from. you to hurt. Uh, we have to acknowledge other people. People. For sure I tell my boys like It's a little girl out here right now That you gonna end up one day with yeah, yeah, yeah. I have to make sure You straight for her bro Hell yeah Like real shit Yep yep Y'all gonna make kids My grand I have to make sure you straight Yeah for sure Fast She ain't about yeah. be calling my phone Saying your son ain't shit <laughs> Hell yeah She not Hell yeah No for sure Fast Hell yeah though You gotta get them together bro Like with kids You gotta get them together though Like Like that's how I tell my, my son With the whole sex shit Like that shit can wait yeah. Nigga, trust that's a powerful motherfucking drill right there. Mm -hmm. Once you get that shit, then you gonna be you gonna OD on it. Nigga. Yeah, you gonna go crazy real. with it, dog. Like you take people energy with that shit yeah. for real, all that shit, bro. So you can you can wait, man. That shit that shit gonna trust me, nigga. Right now, I focus on school, your sports. It's gonna come. It's gonna yeah. be for a long, 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 long time, nigga. Like, I'm telling my always <laughs> the same thing, like bro, you you ain't missing nothing. Yeah, like trust me, I I I literally started. I had to, like I said, they call me real will because nigga, I'm real as hell. Yeah, I was gonna get me you wrong. Yeah. I'm not. I'm. It's. I'm. I'm. I'm going to give you the best answer, and if that's something you don't want to hear, I still have to give it to you because I want you to get the best result. Yeah, for sure. I'm a real ass nigga. Yeah. You wrong. You wrong. Yeah. You right. You right. Yeah. You can do something better. I tell you what you can do better. I'm not gonna knock you for what you did do. Hell yeah. Now, but, as a person, you 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 got you got kids. You you know what I'm saying you feed knowledge to. You, do you do you ever do you feel like you ain't old enough to still accept motherfucking knowledge from somebody else and oh, no. lessons and, and I learn, shit? Bro, I learn every day. Yeah. To this day, like, and I know I'm still learning every day. I'm not perfect. I tell them too, like, mm -hmm. nigga, I'm not perfect. It's a lot of things that I do to y'all. I still do to myself. Mm -hmm. If I tell y'all to get out your comfort zone and and try different shit, yeah. I am too. For sure. Even bro, when I did that first stand up, yeah. nigga, I was nervous as hell. That was the yeah. first time I ever just standing and seeing all these people yeah, look at me yeah. and they're waiting. Yeah, for yeah. They're <laughs> waiting on me, bro. Yeah, for sure. And for it's sure. different. You know what I'm saying? But I stepped out of my comfort zone. I liked it. I wanna yeah. do it again. Yeah, yeah. So it's it's a lot of shit like I showed them not also telling them I gotta back my own words up. For sure. Cause I mess up. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. fuck up. Yeah. I make mistakes. I I Am scared to do things, and I have to tell myself, "Don't be scared." Yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah, dog, for sure. And you gotta jump out, you gotta jump out the motherfucking window and just do that shit, bro. A lot of yeah, times we be too scared of failure. I know with me, I was always scared. Like, man, start a podcast. He on my head about doing it. I'm like, oh, niggas ain't gonna fuck with it. Niggas ain't gonna like this shit. I be scared to interview certain niggas. Like, damn, I don't, I don't know if I'm gonna have a good enough conversation. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, even though I know at the crib, nigga, we have hella conversations, mm -hmm. and I know it could transition over. To doing a podcast I mean it's not that easy For you niggas Trying to do a podcast But yeah. You know what I'm saying But it's like Nigga I know I could do this shit But I was just always afraid Of niggas not liking it mm -hmm. 
Yeah. Or niggas not receiving it the way I want them to receive right. it. You feel me? But you just got to do that shit. Yeah, you got to have fun with, at the end of the day, is your passion. Yeah, for have sure. Have fun with your passion. Yeah, like, yeah. just because a certain nigga might not rock with it right now, that's why, like I said earlier, you might have to go to the people, l learn your core audience. For sure. That's yeah, the first yeah. thing I tell everybody. Yeah. Rappers, singers, artists, you cook food. Yeah. Look for niggas who hungry. Yeah, for don't sure. Don't look for niggas just to share your and shit. And don't try to... Look at the next nigga like, let me go ahead and do what he doing. No, yeah. what he do it work for him. Yeah. Niggas, you gotta go ahead and take a different approach, bro. I'm always so, man, I'm so opposite of niggas. I try to if I see a nigga interview some, a person too much, like, oh, okay, I don't want I don't want their interview. I wanna be different. I wanna interview somebody that I never even fucking heard of right. or shit. Like, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? I wanna make sure I ask questions different. I wanna make sure I don't get straight into one thing I never really like about shows is when niggas get straight to the point. I was the type of nigga I grew up on interviews Documentaries yeah. I want to know about the person Before yeah. he even got To what he was doing mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying So you explain Opening up about your, your parents And shit Some people don't want To talk about that mm -hmm. You open up about your sister And you fucking up And your kids And shit like mm -hmm. that Like your son Like a Chinese ass AJ. <laughs> <laughs> For real shit like, yeah, like, Cause he loves that shit yeah. bro <laughs> hey, hey hey You know what I'm saying I'm not I'm not against uh I'm not against uh, anybody who, you know what I'm saying, like same sex, but I know it's exciting to see that your, your son like females yeah, too. Yeah, yeah. He, <laughs> trust, I said the same thing. <laughs> I had to tell his mama, like, we can be mad, but I ain't that mad. Yeah, shit. Yeah. Yeah, I could have seen some worse shit, bro. Yeah, because it's hard being a black man and trying to be on some same sex stuff, being black. Mm -hmm. like, they, man, you know, that's a whole different topic. I don't even want to touch on it, though. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> now, you know what I'm saying, back before before we get to your, 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 your stuff you do, I want to talk to you about music, bro, because music player. A big thing in our, in our lives, mm -hmm. you know. what I'm saying music is a soundtrack for you know. What I'm saying different things we grow we go through. So what's a CD or album, bro? That every time you hear it, it make you go. It, it take you back to a time like perfect as day. It's two. All right. One is the album that Prince did when he did the um oh, the seven 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 oh, yeah. five because yeah. my mama she was always seeing that. Yeah. To me, we a dance. So they take you back so time. So anytime I hear that shit, bro, yeah. any, I'm I'm tearing up. You guys, my sure. anytime I hear that shit, bro. Yeah. And the other one was the Tupac album to where um, I I see Death Around the Corner. Okay, that's uh, me against the world. Yeah, me against yeah, the world. Yeah, yeah, that yeah, yeah. one. Yeah. Cause Death Around the Corner, bro. If that ain't like the realest story ever of what niggas really go through, man. Yeah, like yeah, yeah. I do see that shit around the corner yeah. from niggas walking up the street to like man. peer police, da da da. And it's like women. I'm not saying women don't go through shit. Yeah, y'all sure. go through shit too, and I know y'all do. Yeah, yeah, we go through a lot. Bro. Duh, for real. We go through a lot, nigga. Man, you got a lot of shit. And to I feel like that's all alone. Just yeah. explain our side of shit. Yeah. Or how y'all might not understand that yapping you doing right now. Yeah. I'm thinking about some yeah, shit that happened open to me up when I was 12, bro. Talking shit in the little opening of the song. Shit, yeah, you a damn dead <laughs> beat. Man, that you <laughs> sitting you in that goddamn corner. <laughs> <laughs> Dog, that's a hard ass song, too. Damn. That's it. That's it. Yeah, she yeah, man, she yeah. You be on your shit. I can tell you whole shit, dog. Like, yeah. you know, like, the most things you ask me, like you gotta think, like, hmm. Like, I don't know, like nigga, you know, nigga, it's a song you can think of right now, nigga. Cause nigga, I know a song, nigga. I think about, like I said, nigga, when I played the motherfucking song on voicemail, nigga, mm -hmm. take back to that sucker ass time and shit. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like you got shit, cause nigga, music is a soundtrack, bro. To yeah. each moment of your life, dog. Like as you grow it's a new song or a new album that uh, can take you right back it talked to you yeah music talked to you bro uh, i had daddy issues guess what i played beanie Siegel, jay-z daddy oh yeah where yeah, yeah, have yeah. you been Hell yeah, 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 yeah. but you know what i'm For saying sure. like music talk to you especially when you don't have nobody to talk to either yeah because if you really listen to them words bro yeah you, like i said nigga, that's 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 music talking to it can, it can really help you bro. for sure hell yeah hell yeah who your who's your first favorite rapper though your first one not not the popular one right my first on some real shit, my i ain't gonna lie my first favorite rapper was jay-z yeah but i ain't gonna lie i watched i rocked with uh noriega a lot too oh, for i heard what 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 what, yeah. what what i was in the room all day like what 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 hell what, yeah. what, what, what? Hooked to remember that shit. <laughs> Hell yeah, dog. Yeah, that shit, nigga. Cause nigga clown me, bro. I was born '86, man. And my, my favorite rapper, my favorite first rapper was motherfucking uh, MC Hammer. MC Hammer, bro. Yeah. And then after that, it was Criss Cross. I know. I fucked that. I, I did. My pants was on backwards uh -huh. as fuck, bro. I, I, think, my, I think my cousin MC, MC Hammer, nigga. But yeah, MC <laughs> Hammer, dog. That's my nigga, dog. It, he did, bro. He did. Niggas don't realize because I'm I'm that old too. Yeah. I'm '86 too. Yeah. He did rule the fuck. It was toys, cartoons, mm -hmm. bro. He ruled the fucking world. You didn't have no choice but to nigga. like MC Hammer, and bro. He was a real nigga. He put all his niggas on. He went broke yeah, with yeah, putting his yeah. niggas on. Uh, and 
it's crazy that I just watched this shit on YouTube. Um, they was just breaking down the Pumps and the Bumps album. <laughs> yeah, it was a hard song, nigga. It was. <laughs> <laughs> niggas, every bitch had the holes in that video. <laughs> and they was just saying how niggas discredited him because of the pants and dick. But if you only knew, that nigga had more hood ties because Hell he yeah. gave all these motherfuckers jobs. Yeah. And he paid and fed a lot of people. So sure. he had hood ties yeah. off of that alone. And he you know was a hood nigga who kick your ass too, look. Bro, <laughs> uh, Q-Tip. Yeah. Said nigga, he made that diss about MC Hammer back in the day. This nigga said Hammer ran up on his ass yeah, like, bro, I'll fuck you. Yeah, <laughs> nigga, for real. I will hey, too nigga, legit your he, ass, bro. <laughs> <laughs> and he from the Bay. Bay is like Detroit. Nigga, yeah, you already know, nigga, bro. if you survive that shit, bro. And nigga, you don't let this dancing shit fool you, nigga. Yeah, I, bro, like I dance all over your ass, nigga. <laughs> Hell yeah, too quick. What, too legit to quit? Remember uh, Tree Head, the nigga with the uh, <laughs> just Tree Head, bro, his Duh. dancers, dog. Duh. That shit crazy, bro. Throwback, nigga. Then we old. Yeah, I, see, I just said that woken, waking up because, nigga, I'm like, oh, oh fuck, yeah. nigga. No. <laughs> yeah, nigga, be, nigga, I get a good stretch. This is the motherfucker mm. start his day, nigga. You about to hoop? No, I got to start this day. Right, no, <laughs> nigga. I'm about to wash my face. I got to <laughs> Now, uh, dog, stay, stay back on that on, on some younger shit, bro. What's something that you wanted to do or be, bro, that you never told nobody? Wrestler. A wrestler? Oh, yeah. Can we, can we tell something about wrestling, so <laughs> I want to a, jump my ass off the ropes, bro. Oh, I swear on, to everybody, God. Everybody, everybody. Half, what was your finishing move, man? Everybody got one, dog. Oh, bro, I was stunner all day. Still go stunner? stunner? Nigga, I used to be a school bitch. <laughs> ah, nigga, what the fuck? <laughs> nigga, my shit was the DDT on the top rope, nigga. So I have Ooh. a fake rope, nigga. I'd be on the couch, nigga. Ooh. Bah, DDT, bro. nigga, dog. Seventh grade. RP my my homeboy Corey because me and him in the seventh grade, bro, yeah. we built a whole wrestling ring in his backyard. Yeah. We, Damn, that we, shit was sound We fun. dragged, like, Six mattresses, bro. Duh. From he stayed on Finkel, <laughs> and there was a lot of abandoned houses, but mm -hmm. they would leave mattresses and <laughs> fences and just all sorts. Bro, we looked like the little rascals just yeah. dragging that shit to his Duh. house, bro. We built that shit. We built a real ring, bro. Duh. Ropes. We took the poles from an old gate. Yeah. <laughs> wrapped the ropes around, nigga. Damn. We used to jump off his garage, bro, into the ring. We had a ladder, nigga. Fake pans. We really did that. <laughs> Fake belts. We had Duh. niggas oh, in yeah. Cerveny, bro. Walk around with fake belts like, Duh. hey, this Saturday, I'm about to beat this nigga ass, bro. Y'all might want to come through. Duh. I swear, bro. Y'all niggas carry a uh, motherfucking Corona around, nigga, motherfucking mattresses. Nigga. <laughs> right. Get a black light, see all sorts of nasty <laughs> shit on that bitch. I'm diving head first in that shit. Man. Like, ugh. Did y'all even watch that shit? Hell no. Niggas said, well, crack his ass sex with a <laughs> Right. <No. laughs> Excuse me, ma'am. Can we use this mattress? <laughs> no, no. Rasa was the real shit because uh, I remember we used to, uh, me and my cousin, we had the hardcore belt. So, you know, you got to defend that bitch 24-7. Oh, yeah, so, bro. So, you be asleep, nigga, nigga, and that's, you know, oh, nigga put you in a sharp shirt. Yes, like, bro. You tapping that's out, That's how nigga. our shit was in school. A nigga just be walking down the hallway going to class, just 3D out of nowhere. Yeah. Teacher's yeah. like, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> Shit, I'm Duh. the new champ. That's Hell what's yeah. going on. Hell yeah. What's up? Uh, Cause we gonna get like I said, we got a whole conversation about wrestling, nigga. Cause I was a wrestling, nigga. But what's the, what's the one wrestling match, bro? That you just remember, nigga? Like a classic ass wrestling match, dog. Cause for me, it was that one when Bray Hart and uh, and Stone Cold was fighting, Ooh, and that nigga yeah. put that nigga sharpshooter with that nigga bleeding. full of blood. Yeah. And then remember that nigga got inside the motherfucker? They were fighting that in the ambulance truck, yeah. nigga. Like they it's was so, fighting it's so ass many, up. bro. Cause like I said, I was a huge red. I was. Every Monday watching both shows, flicking back and forth. Yeah, yeah, I had Nitro. games and all that shit. So one one match that I can honestly say that, like, nigga, I was just on the edge of my seat just the mm. whole time when The Rock went against Hulk Hogan, bro. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hell yeah. That shit was crazy because, first of all, Hulk Hogan, 80 years old at the yeah, goddamn yeah. time. Yeah, and how the fuck this nigga last this goddamn long? Hell yeah, but but for... Rock was my guy. Yeah, for sure. You know what I'm saying? We, you smell it, and all that shit. Yeah, so yeah. to see two, like they like they said, it's two generations, bro, like really colliding and then that whole atmosphere at WrestleMania. Cause I went yeah. to a WrestleMania yeah, when, yeah. It, when it was here. For sure. Um, it, you, you, when I say you, it's nothing like a wrestling fan, bro. For sure. Coolest motherfucker, bro. Hell yeah. I'd have been in NFL games. I done seen niggas fight each other. Yeah. I'd have been to Pistons games, nigga, the, the crowd fighting the players. You know what I'm saying? But wrestling, bro, even when I went to WrestleMania, I sat next to a nigga from Ireland. Yeah. Uh, 
it was an old Irish couple, bro. Yeah, for sure. I was in the middle of somebody from Ireland and somebody from Mexico, bro. Man. And we all he talking. He's having a good ass time, yeah. And he know, and we all like, yeah, fuck such and such. <laughs> yeah, man, dog. I want to see this. And dog. we're such a, it's just crazy, niggas bro. niggas be wild as hell, bro, dog. That nigga rock was saying Poutine Pado. Yes, bro. Like, that nigga, I'm <laughs> saying, screw that, like, nigga, if you yeah. don't shut your ass up. That nigga say Poutine You don't want no Poutine Pado, teacher? What the fuck? <laughs> Suck it. What the fuck? Oh, yeah, nigga, we got trouble school with that shit, nigga. Like, <laughs> You not know what you're doing, you and that bitch just hand. Hell yeah, you like give nigga, it to everybody. you're chopping your dick, bro. <laughs> you know what the fuck you're doing, though. You tell your teacher, suck your dick, nigga, suck Damn. Damn, we was this stupid ass little dick. <laughs> now, dog, to get on some shit once you got, you know what I'm saying, older and shit, dog. You, uh, I think I first got uh, uh, a whiff of you, whatever, because um, we had a uh, goddamn, I'm about to forget her motherfucking name, dog, who's on the show, who worked down there. Who our homegirl, dog, light skin, dog, um, who had us on her show and shit not too long ago at the 88.1. Um, yeah, Brianna yeah, Brianna. Oh, Brianna yeah, 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 damn, yeah. my bad, Brianna. Dog, if you're watching this, shit, you know, you're the homie. Yeah, shout shit. Out I had her on the show, she was, <laughs> had me on the show, but I first got with for you, dog, because uh, you was on uh, 88.1, uh, the chop shot, right? Yep, uh, rerun, and was it rerun Detroit? That's two different uh, shows. No, it's, it's that's that's Same the shit. company that okay, uh, okay. Yeah. So, uh, what what happened to that situation and shit, dog? And like, is, is that something that you was like, you was over with, wanted to try something new, or like, how that situation was? Well. First, again, shout out to Brianna because she was actually, I was a guest on her show. Okay. So okay. that's how I even got introduced to the station and yeah. a lot of shit. So if one for her giving me that interview, yeah. I would never had the balls or thought about doing it myself. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But once I did the Chop Shot Radio, you know, I did that for a couple months, but COVID hit. Yeah. And I didn't expect, I don't think we all expected it to last so long. Hell yeah, shit's still going. So then it's like once it stopped and... They were saying that niggas can come back, but it was still yeah, niggas yeah. was still annoyed it. Yeah, so sure. I was like, I'm. I didn't want to come back because of that. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. I got, I got kids. I can't. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Be in the risk that Then yeah. it came to a point. My co-host, um, lavish. What up, bro? Yeah. Um, both my co-hosts like they had other obligations by yeah. now. It was a year. Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Sure. So it niggas done moved on and. Or he perfected what he was getting into. She perfected yeah. what she. So we all individually just end up going to what we really wanted to do anyway. You For know sure. what I'm saying? Yeah, so yeah, yeah. that's why, like, after the show, I just took the time. I had to figure out, like, what do I want to do? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because, I mean, if I wanted to start the show, it ain't shit. I can start the show. Yeah, but yeah, do yeah. I really want to do that? For sure, yeah, yeah. You yeah. know what I'm you, saying? You might be a pass there a little bit. Right. Uh, the, thing, the thing about it is finding that lane mm -hmm. that you're supposed to be in. You gonna be swerving all day until yeah, you find that sure. right bitch for real. Yeah, for sure. And Hell even yeah. with the acting, I feel like I finally yeah, find, like huh. I liked it hosting parties, bro. I liked it the radio show. I liked it doing the open mics and yeah. shit like that. But I get a sense, a sense of accomplishment, a different energy from sitting and writing. Yeah, for sure. Or Hell acting yeah. that shit out and and really seeing that shit. So Hell yeah. I just I start focusing on that more myself. For sure, for sure. Now you know what I'm saying basically what, what, what y'all had, y'all played music, y'all had uh, interviews and stuff like that. So it's kind of like a mystery between radio podcast, yeah, whatever. Like that. Yeah. Which one you think though is like the best thing right now, bro? Like for 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 artists coming like is, is radio because to me it seems like radio is 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 like. It's, it's, yeah, it's radio dead, bro. Radio You know what I'm saying? Used it used to be an artist nigga get broke on radio. That was everything. Yeah. Now nah, nigga, we got so many. Outlets and so many things to push your music mm -hmm. for that you really don't need that motherfucker radio yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah, radio dead, bro. It's 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 too it's too from SoundCloud to YouTube, Instagram. You can make a career off of Instagram. Yeah. Oh, I done seen this girl. All she did was do covers. Yeah, like she had just seen some shit on Instagram. Yeah, nigga, sure. Tell me up. what you want me to see. Comment down below. Hell yeah, nigga. She done blew up off that shit. Yeah. She done got a record deal. Hell you know yeah. what I'm saying? So it's it's too many outlets. Yeah, for yeah. so radio. Like, don't get me wrong. Radio's still cool, yeah. But everybody, you don't need radio no more. For sure. Even literally listen to it. We sit on our phones. We will rather listen to YouTube then. <laughs> yeah. Nice yeah. or not, yeah. like not yeah. knocking them. But I don't want to hear nigga wop eight times, bro. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the sure. fuck y'all play the same duh. shit every day? Every fucking day, dog. Like the radio nigga play the same eight songs in rotation. In, a, in rotation, bro. You end up learning their schedule. Bro. Like, I, could, I don't know because I was young and, and, and naive, dog. But it seemed like the fucking rep. I about to say uh, rep. It seemed like the radio played a lot more songs back when I was younger. I feel like they did. Yeah, like nigga top eight and eight. Like, do I even still do a top eight and eight? Like, nigga, I want to say like it's the top. Three at three, yo. <laughs> Top one at one. It's literally a yeah. one at one, bro. So, nigga, like, you used to be able to call in and say, I want to hear this song, and they actually play it. 
Bro, I remember the first time I got through and bro, I heard myself. Nigga. I was geeked to that. I want to hear Master P. It might even be that. We don't even have that, nigga. <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> you called the radio station. Hell yeah. We got Not your uncle house. <laughs> we got this nigga want to hear Ice Cream Man. <laughs> that shit ain't rotation. <laughs> But nigga, I sang the most song. I used to make mistakes on the radio. Me too, hell yeah. And what that shit nigga at, at night, dog? It'd be like, it's the top eight. eight, eight, eight. I, hey, y'all, I can't see the shit, but it's like. When it's late. Late at night, yeah, at yeah, yeah. Night. Nigga, you mean that bitch, you get to your motherfucking uh, love band, nigga. Hell you make yeah. Little, your little love band. Bro, mistake, I already nigga. knew some shit about to come after hell, she stopped singing, bro. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, nigga. Gene Wine, motherfucker. Hell yeah, uh, my Mono young ass, nigga. Changed, nigga. Here come our kids. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah it's some shit coming now, Duh, boy. Nigga, make a whole mistake off that shit, bro. Love Jam, number right, one, bro. nigga. I did that shit and gave it to a girl. I made some fire. She gave that shit right back. Duh. I played it. This <laughs> shit was fire. What the fuck? Hell, duh, duh. Now, your time on that motherfucker, dog, on the show and shit, what's something that you, uh, what's something that you like, and you, but and something you hate about it, dog, like doing it, like being a host the, uh, on the radio show? One thing I hate about the radio show, I could not smoke in that bitch, bro. Yeah. That's the one thing I could not stand because. Oh, so you could smoke here if you. I, yeah, yeah. Oh, don't tempt me. I'm about to put it right now, bro. But, uh. <laughs> see, I'm about to bring the bitch down. Hell right. yeah, nigga. It's right here, bro. Y'all see this shit? <laughs> but that's because I, I want to be in the best setting to get the person, bro. Yeah. I want you to be comfortable. I want you to be. If you don't drink, you don't smoke, that's cool, too. Yeah, no, that's But sure. I know so many people who do. Yeah. So I want you to be relaxed. Because, like you said, I want to ask real quick. I want to get real answers. I want I want yeah, you to be comfortable. Shit, yeah. Give yourself. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So that's one thing that I, I really didn't like. Niggas used to be, have to be outside, like, <laughs> with this. Like, it's a cigarette. Like, oh, shit, let me hurry up and go in this bitch. <laughs> but one thing I did like is definitely coming across. All the people that I came across because I didn't just interview musicians. Yeah. Like I interviewed a tax lady. I interviewed a little kid. He matter of fact, uh, he act too. Yeah, yeah, he yeah, was in sure. um, Asbury Park. Okay, okay. Um, yeah, yeah. So it, it was more. I wanted to just give a, a spotlight to the people in Detroit who deserve it. You, you don't know. necessarily have to be a singer, rapper, da da da. You can be a poet. You can be a construction worker. You can be a kid just getting good grades, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shit, that you being on the radio. For getting good grades, I know that'll motivate your ass Hell to yeah, fucking keep getting yeah, them bitches, right, bro. Somebody, you're on that bitch again. Yeah, you, know what you get what I'm saying. Hell so yeah, I did just like coming across like all the people I came across, bro. Now how did you? How did you like? Cause y'all had guests, whatever. How did y'all handle like guests at the last minute? Like, dog came and come. Oh man. <laughs> like because that shit happened. Yeah. You be like fuck. Like, like I know it right because y'all gotta have a show. It can't be just like bro, on podcast. It was one time. We do that shit next week. Man, it was one time. And this, like, this was when I was first still, like, new and nervous. Yeah. Nigga, my co-host couldn't make it. The guests couldn't make Duh. it. I'm just on that bitch like, dog. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> shit. <laughs> I'm talking to the DJ like, What's, you want something? He like, don't talk to me, bro. <laughs> like, uh -uh, nigga. Leave me out this right, shit. Right, don't just drag me down with you, bro. <laughs> Duh. <laughs> I'm like, shit, uh. But... I end up talking, end up calling, did a did, just doing shit, and then I'm like, this shit ain't that bad. Hell yeah, for sure. You know what I'm saying? Hell yeah. But that first time, nigga, I was about to shit. I'm like, dog, what the nigga, fuck, nigga, bro? Heart beat like, oh, shit. Yes, so nigga. you be telling me all, all y'all niggas ain't showing up, nigga. Right. And she, the thing about it was at the last minute too. Like, mm -hmm. okay, I'm on that nine, nigga. She calling me at like eight fifty eight, like. <laughs> I ain't coming Like what nigga <laughs> I'm literally about to go in there And sit down You know what I'm saying yeah. Now I gotta like Figure out what the fuck on to the do fly. Yeah but Duh. That 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 ain't no different Like you said nigga You on the bench And now you gotta You gotta got just yeah. learn How to adapt With like, different right. shit bro Hell yeah They got bitch talking In two different voices like. Yeah <laughs> Right Bro Mr. Carver Like who the fuck Is he talking to This nigga Eight people in that bitch <laughs> <laughs> They are now, uh, man. You had touched on your um on your acting a uh, couple times throughout the motherfucking uh, show. You had said that you got the you know what I'm saying the buff with your, your one line, nigga. Just stood out like a motherfucking mm -hmm. dog, and um that led you. Well, you asked some shit, but the one thing I see your newest thing is appreciate, uh appreciate. is a uh, Black Lives. Yeah, and uh you know what I'm saying that you got Glenn Plum uh, Plumber in there. Nigga, AKA nigga, OG Bobby Johnson OG, and shit, dog. Bro. You got uh Trey Chaney, dog, from The Wire and shit, dog. Mm -hmm. Like. What's your, what's your role in this And uh, talk about your, your character and shit dog Well I play Rodney Alright And it's crazy cause 
Rodney is the complete opposite for me, bro. All right. So I really had to like get in my bag for this one. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, don't get me sure. wrong, I, I drink. Yeah. I'm not an alcoholic. I ain't a drunk to the point where I'm pissing on it. And he was <laughs> sure, like yeah, that. Yeah. He was a like so I really had to learn how to slur in my speech when I'm drunk or did it did blah blah. So I had to change my whole script, but I pulled it off. He the fuck up mm -hmm. of the movie, you know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? But like I said, I did my thing. But even being around, like like you said, OG Bobby John. Yeah, like man. nigga, you think about South Central, like bro, nigga, Deuce like, in here. I, <laughs> bro, I had to tell him, like, I had to tell him, like, if you only knew how much that movie inspired me, bro. Man, for like sure. real shit, because I didn't have my dad around, yeah. so to see that and to hear somebody, you don't want to do this. You Hell don't yeah, this, for sure. That. He is OG Bobby Johnson because yeah. you are OG, bro. Hell yeah. I had to tell him, like, I'm not trying to knock you because I know you done did way more, more than that, roles. That's the one that stand out yeah. to the hood, though. That's a hood that, classic. That saved me, bro. Yeah. So you, yeah, you my OG, bro. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Nigga say, Deuce in this bitch. You're right. Yeah. Big <laughs> Deuce. <laughs> yeah. Big Deuce. That nigga say, he got your key out there stealing CD players. <laughs> Retarded <laughs> ass. Me and my homeboy were just <laughs> talking about that shit because, bro, when that nigga blasted that little nigga in the back, bro, and they Duh. took his ass to jail, he like, his ass was breaking in my goddamn house. How did I know it was the goddamn kid? Hell he yeah. and his drawers getting arrested. Hell yeah, duh. That nigga just got finished getting down with this his This nigga old, like, what the shit, fuck? Duh. duh, that shit crazy. That nigga said, he got your kid out. <laughs> yeah, that nigga said, what? <laughs> Uh, nigga, white dude, like, I want eight boxes of cigarettes. <laughs> nigga, that shit fucking <laughs> weird. broken nose and yeah, everything, bro. Like, he's a man. Right, he's a man. <laughs> that right there is a man. You gonna respect him as such as a man. <laughs> I said, this nigga serious as fuck. That nigga had that nigga in the room like, who is Malcolm X? Malcolm X. <laughs> like, what did Martin Luther King eat last night? <laughs> Tell me. He was a man that ate last night. Tell me what he ate. That nigga, <laughs> that nigga <laughs> fooling in that bitch, bro. That nigga was super militant, dog. That nigga murdered 18 niggas and shit. Super militant, bro. Dog. That, see, he's a man. That nigga's a man. <laughs> a man's man. <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> Oh, that's your fuck. Hey, y'all think about that shit. But look, bro. Also, <laughs> look, I'm about to put this on record right now. Because I'm about to put you on the spot. We need to do that. All of us, we need to sit and watch classic shit, bro. Oh, and yeah. just do commentary on that shit. Just show our reaction to that shit. Like, damn, real shit, that'd be bro. Dope. That'd be Boys dope. in the hood. Yeah, but this then, and that. not watch that whole movie, but, but key scenes. Yeah, key damn, scenes. Damn, you yeah. ain't got a good yeah, idea, bro. dog. Bro, I'm telling you, dude, damn, I, I ain't trying to bring race in this shit. Yeah. But, bro, it's these white boys that on there. Bro, hilarious, nigga. Oh, yeah, he, like nigga, the whole time you can have like the uh, the scene play, nigga. We just watch that shit, yeah. dog. Dog, that's a good ass idea, dog. We might have clip that we shit out, dog. <laughs> Put that shit to the stairs, nigga. Might, might have do that shit once a month, nigga. Like, I was about once a month, bro. <laughs> once a month, nigga. <laughs> nigga say he's a man. That, that nigga say that shit. I would say that shit when he say, like, here he come. He's a man. <laughs> that here he come. That nigga put his whole chest that motherfucker. Yeah, he shit, did, dog. bro. He was pissed. The now you say uh it got premiered what t twice right yeah that movie twice. so right now what you can find on, on on Tubi um it's gonna be on Tubi I just talked to the directors yeah like uh, a couple days ago they said it should be on Tubi <laughs> cause you know it's a lot of restrictions and all this shit you got yeah. passed and all this shit but they yeah. said within the next two weeks yeah, yeah, it'll yeah. be on Tubi but you can follow me at Real Will three one three on Instagram and yeah. I can keep y'all posted on that. Cause it's it's that it's a dope ass movie, bro. Yeah, for sure. It's dope for as sure. hell. Yeah. Like I had to watch that show, though, for man. sure, man. Now, uh, give me your what 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 be a dream role of yours, dog? And like your dream leading lady. I know you you got a lady and stuff, dog. No, it's, no it's she. Acting. But that that that's speaking of that. That's one thing that really play an aspect in acting, bro. Yeah, for sure. Like to take certain roles and to do and like think about your your, your yeah, family do, aspect. Yeah, it's yeah. it's certain shit that I don't do because. Like I, I want my kids to yeah. to see some yeah, of this it's, shit, it's, but it's a rose that you want. <laughs> yeah. But nigga, yeah. I'm still a goddamn grown man, yeah, and they not sure. gonna see everything. And yeah. she under like even in Black Lives, like bro, I was. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Nigga said, I'm throwing I had to tell her like, yeah, you know what I'm I saying? Like, it it's, it's acting, bro. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? It's act, and even that, it's times where I I. Don't act, and they have to direct it. Tell me, like, bro, you gotta let that shit out, nigga. Yeah, yeah for that sure. ain't believable right there. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, I don't yeah. know what's going on up, but you gotta get that yeah, shit yeah. out your system, nigga. And fuck her if, you, if I'm telling you to fuck her, nigga. Yeah, yeah for sure. I don't yeah. know if that's how you fuck at home, but yeah, yeah. If you got five kids. I know it ain't that, bro. Yeah, for sure. Hell no, nah, nah. Yeah, so that, so you do got roles that you won't take. This, yeah. Oh my strength. bad. But yeah, the role. Yeah. My my dream. I got all of the my dream role, bro. <laughs> 
I'm somebody I'm goofy as fuck bro. Yeah for sure Like I would love to play like The Wardo yeah. The fucking Cole Like yeah, I'm yeah, su- sure. The super dingy dump Cause I, I just like characters yeah, like that yeah, Like yeah, I'm a yeah, goofy yeah. nigga bro yeah, Or yeah. like the um The nigga that was with Seth Rogen off Pineapple Express bro. Okay yeah 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 Like yeah. his homeboy Hell yeah Shit funny dude. Shit like my uh, Dream fucking like Cold star Yeah Your motherfucking lead lady In that motherfucking way Leading lady bro Yeah I ain't gonna lie Dang Nah I do gotta think Boy I yeah, do yeah, I mean yeah, like, Let me pun <laughs> real quick Like Uh shit Dang, now that is a hard one, bro. Yeah, because uh, if, that if, if I was my at the bed, I mean, I, y'all can't catch me in uh, Peyton here. Right, <laughs> right. My, my lead lady had to be one fucking uh, between Kyla Pratt, dog, and motherfucking Neil Long. Yes, Kyla Pratt. Neil Long way older than me, so we, we, we could do some old Kyla, stuff. I had the biggest Stella crush got on her, back bro. And shit again. I had the biggest crush on Kyla yeah, Pratt, bro. Hell yeah, nigga, shit. I still, like I told nigga, I still be seeing her picture. She looked like, the same, bro. Man, she, look, is that the same? Just got a that shit, wow. different body, but she still yeah. <laughs> Yeah. If anything, like no homo, like dudes, I definitely, I, I would say, I, I, I want to do something with Kevin Hart. Yeah, I want to do something different with Kevin Hart. Yeah, for sure. I for feel sure. like he do the same, ah, yeah. falling in the shit all the goddamn <laughs> now, time. Last year he just did that with Wesley. That shit was that was, cold. Yeah, that was a good ass he, shit. Dog. I didn't think he was gonna pull it off. Yeah, and but, still had his like his character in that bitch, but he was like more, way more serious yeah. than that motherfucker. But dog. that's the thing, bro. They they tell you. That's the thing about an actor. Yeah. You could tell a good actor if you see the role, not the person playing. Yeah, for sure. Like Yo, Denzel. Yeah. You see Denzel nigga. just doing Every, shit, bro. Oh, Denzel's a soldier. Denzel's an old man talking <laughs> shit to his son about baseball. <laughs> Den- yeah. That's Denzel, but yeah. it's other people that you see the character. Yeah, then you got you know you a good you play a good role when nigga really hates you for that character. Oh, I yeah. forgot that fucking role Ooh, he had yeah. when he was that uh Damn, it was back in the day, bro. His son hated him. He had passed away. He wound up having like a, another kid with a woman after he was leaving work and shit. You know, old school shit mm-hmm. that really went on with grandparents back in the day. Fences. Yeah, fences. Yeah, niggas, that's what I thought. Talking shit just started about baseball yeah, and shit. Yeah, that nigga was hating. Yeah. He, that was a role. They'd be like, this nigga a hoe ass nigga. Mm-hmm. Oh. Punk ass nigga, dog, for that shit, dog. On some shit like uh, Samuel and Django and shit. Hell like, yeah. nigga, you, uh. Dog, yeah, oh. You did that a little bit too good, dog, nigga. Dog, who this nigga? Like, who the fuck? <laughs> that on the goddamn mad. horse. That nigga was hurt. And that's like we said, niggas don't want to share your shit. Who the fuck this nigga Will mm-hmm. Will think he is? Mm-hmm. <laughs> that's how nigga said, he said, this nigga on the horse? My horse gonna be a Porsche nigga on play with me. <laughs> who is that, that mobile horse? <laughs> Still sounding like saying, what the fuck? I ain't said nigga shit for get a reason. This, get this nigga out of here. Duh, man. Duh, that shit funny, dog. But yeah, that shit, dude, when you can get mad at that nigga, that nigga doing his shit, dog. Nigga hate Tyreek, nigga. Yeah. Let me hate that motherfucker, yeah, dog. Yeah, bro. Nigga, <laughs> niggas gonna really flex that nigga, dog, for real. Like, <laughs> nigga gonna hurt that nigga, bro. And you know that nigga, oh, you do a good job, bro. Niggas hate you, dog. But that's, that's, one, that's one of the worst things about acting is getting typecast or you yeah, only for known sure. for that yeah. you know, like we said about OG like even somebody like Screech yeah. he tried other shit they would not shit, give Steve him Urkel, a chance dog. yes nigga oh, always gonna be yeah. Steve nigga that probably the worst nigga um, the worst one the, uh, Wayne Brady bro I um, had watched um, a little documentary of his bro yeah. that he said like he went through hell yeah, because to... he Every we all shun niggas shun the fuck out of him, bro. Yeah, for sure. Hell like yeah. nigga, you ain't shit, your corny hell ass, hell bro. Yeah, for sure, for sure, for and sure. And he like nigga, that's not me. Like yeah. I'm doing this. It's no different from Nick Cannon hosting yeah. America. You have exactly. to do this shit. Exactly. Bro. I'm glad that Nick Cannon don't. He don't get stuck. He could have been one of them cornball he, niggas who, but he really in a cornball. But niggas could be like, oh yeah, that nigga corny. I'm fucking yeah. But he a real nigga. Everybody who fucking always say he a real one, dog. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So we talk about this shit off camera, dog. Like. You been thinking about since you've been doing um, acting, whatever, like writing your own shit, bro? Yeah, yeah. I actually I just finished up a script, bro. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm in the process of getting that. Hopefully, the way it's looking is going to get made this summer. I'm trying yeah. to have it out by my birthday, August 25th, but it's a comedy, bro. It's going to be funny as hell. Yeah. The thing about writing, like, it's crazy how I even fell into that because I had to look back and... When I went to Crossroads, bro, yeah. I had to I fucked up and got kicked out of Cooley for selling weed. <laughs> Nigga had to go to Crossroads, bro. It's crazy that at Crossroads they had a class purely dedicated to movies, nigga. Mm-hmm. On some crazy shit. Like I learned more in adult ed than I did all that Cooley, bro. Yeah, for sure. That's crazy. That's crazy as hell. This nigga had a movie. We would go watch movies. He'll break down the like how how movies <laughs> Share a bigger Way bigger picture And mm-hmm. what they saying Just all this different shit And he broke down How to write scripts And I had shit Published in the newspaper before Yeah Off of that class You For know sure. what I'm saying So That's dope 
is I just had to tap tap back into that, yeah. and not only that, I'm just somebody who always just thinking, yeah. just think of what I can do if or if I could put a spin on this character or this show or this yeah, music yeah. video or just shit like that. You yeah, know what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah. So you said you wanted to be it's gonna be on some, on some comedy shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's That's a comedy, bro. That like I said, we 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 trying to see like who we can get involved now. If yeah. I if I had a pick, I'm not gonna lie. Like I want like jackpot in it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, jackpot, dog. We're trying. Come on, man. Get on the show, Eastside bro. Ivo. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's a, it's a lot of people from here that I know can is the perfect people to 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 For pull sure. this shit off. Hell you know yeah. what I'm saying? Hell yeah, that's dope. Not staying on that shit, bro. Like you and you and tapped in. Like I said, you got a lot of hats, bro. You tapped in your comedy space, bro. Like first time doing stand up wasn't wasn't too long ago. Like how nervous was you, bro? Like to see people and looking at you, even though it might it could have been ten people, dog, just to bro. make these motherfuckers laugh, like. Nigga, like, what, 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 what was those nerves like? It's crazy, cause, like I said, like I, I, I did a lot of shit, but the shit that I did really did involve mm. people having to judge me like that. Yeah, for acting, they, they you with the judge. actors, yeah. radio show, nigga. I'm, the, I'm, y'all, I'm doing is interviewing, up. Sure. but to Damn. sit and for see all these people staring, like I said, staring at me and waiting and whatever yeah, I say yeah, better be sure. fucking funny, yeah. or they will show you it's not fucking funny. Yeah, yeah like, like, like I was nerd and. That was the first time I ever did that shit. Yeah. So I was nervous. Like you can hear like the crackling in my yeah, voice yeah, at first. Nigga for sure. But then I just like you said, I just had to say fucking dive in it. And what really made me dive in more is once the first joke landed. Yeah. I didn't think it was. Yeah. Second joke landed. Damn, straight. Yeah, 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 yeah. Nah, I'm like, okay, well let's get this shit going. Yeah, nah sure. nigga yeah. opened up and they fucked with it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hell to yeah. the point where I'm all like, oh yeah, I wanna do do that shit again Not only that My material is life It's yeah. not nothing That I really gotta work on For sure yeah It's, it's gonna not, be easy to you yeah, yeah it's yeah. easy Like material Come to me every day yeah. From the stupid shit That I do yeah. All day every day You yeah, know what yeah. I'm saying yeah, yeah. Like even You gotta do that skit nigga, That OG uh, That as a man You gotta do that skit That bitch dog Got to bro yeah, that be Man <laughs> Cause that's what I'm a man I don't know what the, You <laughs> that know nigga what I'm put saying? that motherfucker Man in that bitch nigga Put that A in that motherfucker But yeah so you say you just rap. I mean, rapping. You writing about your real, your real life situations. That and like I said, that's like when you doing rap. When you doing music, bro. When you can pull from your real life shit, it's gonna mm -hmm. be a little easier. Yeah, easier. Than trying bro. to sit here and lie about some shit, mm -hmm. bro. Like you gotta look up shit that you ain't even did just to yep. make it sound sweet. Or well, fabricate is it's hard to fabricate, bro. Yeah. The real, the easiest shit is just the real shit, bro. You you gonna get back on that motherfucker soon? As far as uh yeah yeah yeah. Shit? Uh, um. I'm actually shout out to my bro Buddy Love. You know he the one who really like got me in that shit. Mm -hmm. You know he a, he a comic from here. Mm -hmm. and, you know I can even give you his info, have him slide through. For sure, for you sure. You definitely want him to slide through. He a funny ass nigga, man. He really pushed me to do that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And I like being around people like that now. Mm -hmm. It's cool. Like I love all my homeboys, but I'm past sitting at the crib talking about. Some shit that ain't gonna pop off. Where yeah. the hoes at, nigga? We no. not gonna talk to me. No, we, we all got wives and kids, dog. bro. Let's yeah, be real, nigga. That's it, yeah, nigga. Better, or you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like at the wild shit get played, bro. Like even I don't want to be around people that I bring up a script and you change the subject. Yeah. Yep. I want I, I need to be around people That's on that tip Hell And yeah. he like that He I'm a stand up I do stand You wanna come with me You wanna watch yeah. it You wanna go up there mm -hmm. He pushed me And yeah. I like that shit For sure You, know you need that shit bro You do You need that shit Now uh, I already know You watched the Kings of Comedy Growing up and shit dog it was Four comments nigga Brain Mac Cedric uh, Steve And motherfucking um, D.L. Hughley mm -hmm. Give me your what, what would be your Kings of Comedy If you could pick four I said for mine It'd be Martin It'd be Brain Mac Dave Chappelle And Cat Williams that's a good, that, that is a good who list. Be, who will be your foe? Mine's will be Dave Chappelle, fucking Bernie for show. Yeah. Eddie Murphy. Okay. Because his stand ups, Hell nigga, yeah. is, is gospel, bro. I still watch them bitches to this day. Hell yeah. Nigga. I fucked with Martin, but not as much as everybody else. Yeah. And um, to throw just the whole wrench and everything. Uh, it's this white comic, bro. Mm -hmm. He used to write for Saturday Night Live. What the fuck is his name, bro? I damn near want to pull my phone out and Google. But it's this, <laughs> it's this white comic, bro. Um, he's so fucking funny, yeah, and that's sure. the thing about it too. You wanna you wanna have range in all your shit. Oh no, for sure. When Facts. it comes to music, don't just listen to yeah, rap. We got house fun, y'all. Yeah, right. Uh, Granddad, <laughs> when it comes come to uh. When it comes to music, don't just listen to rap. Yeah, for sure. You gotta listen, listen to all, to all, all shit. that shit because you can take aspects from all that yeah, shit. Yeah, that's why Snoop Dogg is such a great rapper, bro. Like you can tell that his music. Uh, choice was 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 wild when he was growing up, dog. Yeah. So that's why he tapped into that old school shit, nigga. Mm -hmm. Become a Jamaican and shit. Mm -hmm. and this motherfucker like make reggae music. Like Snoop is the, is that nigga? Yeah, you know yeah. when it comes to that shit, bro. And because his motherfucking music, 
uh, range is, is deeper than just rap. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So, nigga, uh, um, before we get to the end of the shit, dog, like, you know what I'm saying? I always want to bring light to, to people who got families and, 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 and married, engaged, whatever it is. So, like, how do you balance your your, your, your family life with your you your, your dream life? Like, you chasing your, your dreams? It's, and it's honestly, dog, it's honestly hard because I got five kids. You yeah. know what I'm saying? I got a 13 year old. 12 year old a 5 year old and 1 year old twins okay so it is hard to back because they still in school they still need help with homework they sure. still, still want to be around daddy you know what yeah. I'm saying so one thing I really had to do it was schedule I had to make a real real schedule I had mm -hmm. to time shit I had, I, I had to make time for them because they yeah. deserve it I had to make time for myself because I deserve it I mm -hmm. had to make time for my girl so it's all about a balance. You gotta yeah, find yeah. that balance. And yeah. I found a balance, you know what I'm saying? Certain days, it's purely, she know that, okay, this is my shooting day or days I gotta learn the script. Yeah, I need she the cool with that cause sometimes, yeah, like, like God damn, Will. The thing you about it saying? is, be mad as hell. the thing about it is she cool with it because um, she benefit from it. Yeah, for so sure. So it ain't like she not getting nothing out this shit. Yeah, yeah, You know yeah. what I'm saying? And she understands probably just I get paid for this role, nigga. She getting the money. Yeah, for sure. So, of course, yeah, learn yeah, the role, yeah, nigga. Yeah, I help you. you what shit. you need. You need yeah, the yeah. house empty. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah, what I'm yeah. saying? So, yeah, she know, like, to give me the space that I need. Or not only that, I'm trying to involve her. Mm -hmm. So she won't feel neglected. Yeah, or, for sure, for sure. You know, I'm sure. getting her and her YouTube bag with her yeah. hair shit and this and that. So, it's just all about it. That's one thing you got to make them feel good, dog. Because once you are, you know, once you got them niggas. God damn! Once you got the ladies, you gotta keep them in the loop and shit. Yeah, you got to. So bro. once you, you once you can include them on something, they feel good about it. Mm -hmm. Cause in my hundred episode, I it, it, this nigga be on my head about shit. Cause I be like, I call a nigga be like, man, you sound like a little bitch right now and shit. When I complain about something, but on the hundred episode, show. my wife like, it, I want to come, like I want to celebrate that with you. I understand, mm -hmm. but then I, I thought about like, yeah, you know what? She right, y'all. Come on, motherfucker. Like, like you know even her, like um. Even her, bro. I I I had her on the radio. She was a, for Valentine's Day. Yeah. Like um right before the pandemic shut everything. Like she was on the guest, and I had another couple, and we played the um. She helped me host, and they was playing the matching game. Mm -hmm. So sometimes it's it's good to involve the people. Two, you know you what I'm saying? So you, you don't have to go through too, a lot bro. of that shit. You gave me no idea on that. Some shit, like, you like, yeah, like, real, like even my kids, bro. I try to, I try to. No, they, that's dope, bro. They, they love acting. Yeah. Like I'm getting into, I'm so really like helping them. With, them yeah, so that way, nigga, I got all this. He got one too. Yeah, I'm taking he, he taking headshots too. It's, I'm still spending time with him. That's dope, bro. Yeah. Now with you, with your uh, and uh, not to not to go back and harp on um, you know, saying with your parents and stuff, but with the loss of your parents and you not being around them and junk because you lost them at an early age, you think that made you like a better father, a better husband, and junk because you could just imagine how like things would have been if they were still around and all yeah. that stuff. Yeah, like I and I, I tell my kids that too, like. Hmm. Like um, losing them, it it made me first of all have a appreciation of life because mm, it ain't it ain't guaranteed. Sure. Not only that, what you want to do with your life? Yeah, hell yeah. So if I have kids, like, do I want to like? Cause I, I love my dad to death, but when he passed, because he wasn't the best, I still had neglect. Mm -hmm. I couldn't mourn as much as I did. Like my, I was fucked up. When yeah, my, yeah. But when my dad died, I was like, "Damn, yeah. old man! Like, why yeah, the fuck you sure. do this shit?" Yeah. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, so yeah, even sure. that's like, I don't want my kids to look at me like that, mm -hmm. oh, or yeah. I don't want them to grow up with issues that they telling their wife that I did. Yeah, they yeah, feel yeah. like I did something wrong. Yeah, like I did. Yeah, my dad could have did this. Same way, did, I'm yeah. talking to my wife about my dad. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. So yeah, it, it definitely made me go a hundred times harder for sure. And that, it do that shit. Like I said, my dad passed at a young age, so. The, the things that I wanted Nigga like Damn I wish I could Of course you can do it With your uncle With your brother Your granddad But it's different With your pops nigga. Yeah yeah So that's why I look at that As like alright bet When I have my kids I'm gonna be that I'm mm -hmm. be that dude I wish I could've been Yeah with, with my dad But he passed away too early You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying That's why I hate I, I honestly I swear to God I hate when niggas say I got it So they'll yeah. be straight too Like but you didn't want that though Yeah for sure So like, <laughs> <laughs> no, The no, fuck Hell yeah Hell yeah dog Now towards the end man We all This is a new thing You say the person I did this with dog It's called Put Me In The Game Okay so you subbing in for somebody. Okay. It could be a movie. It could be a TV show, a rap group, whatever. So I give you that shit. You tell me who you going to sub in for. And you, you say you can say why or you can just shit. Who you going to sub in for? Okay. So Martin. Who you going to sub in for, dog, from, on, on the Martin show? 
Who you feel like you want to take? You want to take that? You want to take that spot? I ain't gonna lie, I can pull Martin off. Yeah, but he he Martin, bro. He he yeah. can pull Martin off. <laughs> so yeah, I'm subbing Cole, bro. Cause like I just said, that's yeah. my dream role anyway, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love that dingy as fuck on that bitch, Cole dumb Brown. as hell, what was bro. That nigga, uh, Big Shirley and yeah, shit Big Shirley and shit. You know what I'm saying? So I definitely sub out Cole. I sub in that motherfucker. Take his dingy place, man. Hell yeah. All right, nigga. Now me and my wife, when we had COVID, she was at the crib watching crazy shows, nigga. Who you subbing in for making the band? <laughs> Ooh, which yeah. which one though? The uh, two with the rappers. With the rappers. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna take out uh, Dylan. 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 I'm gonna sell by Dylan, dog. Nigga be having more luck. No, I think Dylan was funny as hell, dog. All right, nigga. Who you? You from the West Side, bro? Yep, yep. Who you subbing in on Doughboy Cash Out? Ooh. <laughs> from the West and shit, bro. I I ain't gonna lie, bro. HBK gotta go, bro. Yeah. I'm gonna I'm say that's my yeah. nigga and all, but peace to the Middle East, bro. <laughs> yeah. all right, all right, bad, bad. Now, uh, motherfucking Fresh Prince, bro. Who you who you subbing in for? Shit. I, I, shit. Everybody did their thing, so I'm just gonna have to sub in for. I'll be, uh, um, uh, Jazz. I, oh, no. At first, I thought you about to say Jeffrey. I'm no, like, hell no. <laughs> I'm a Headmaster William. Yeah, jazz is cool as hell, though. Yeah, yeah that, that was book. my nigga. Throw me out. Throw yeah, me yeah. out, bro. No, pay a fool. Who you subbing in for? Ooh. Who you paying for? Ooh. Mm. Fuck it. I'll be money making Mitch. Hell man. yeah. Hell yeah. Now, uh, we got two more, dog. You can touch on a little bit, dog. No limit, dog. You got C. Murray, Master P, Silk mm -hmm. Shock, Mystical, dog. Who you, who you coming in for? I'm going to come in because, nigga, they had everybody from fucking Kane and Abel. Hell fucking. Yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah, for sure. They Mac, had a goddamn roster. Matter of fact, Mac just got out of jail and shit. Yep. Dog. I fucking, I ain't going to lie. I sub out Silk, bro. I knew you were going to say Silk Shocker, nigga. Like, nigga, too fuck. <laughs> he was getting a hole and shit, dog. Like, everybody, want, all the hoes want Silk Shocker, dog. Dog. <laughs> hey, dog. Oh, yeah, ladies, ladies, ladies. Right. All ladies, the ladies want Silk Shocker. Keep it classy. Now, did you, growing up, I know we, we both same age. Did you grow up on Living Color? Yeah, hell yeah. All right, who you subbing in for Living Color, dog? Dog. I'm they, had say, some, they had some yeah, ghosts on that one. Dog. I'm going to have to say, dang. Tommy. Tommy Davidson. Tommy I'll Davidson? Sub, yeah, I'll sub all the time. Hell yeah. Because that. everybody else had way more memorable characters than Tommy, yeah. for real. Yeah, but that's a cla he got classic scenes, though. Him and the motherfucker. Uh, yeah, he do. Him and uh, Wanda. Wanda yeah, he, he, he do. When he was getting a massage, that nigga. Yeah, he'll jump up, up skinny ass, that bro. That was the funniest shit You ever. ain't lying, bro. Nigga had the motherfucker thong draws on, running mm, around that Run around, bro. <laughs> skinny as hell. Back the fuck up. <laughs> Her big ass, come here. So I'm a lady. Like, hell no, you ain't. Right. <laughs> Duh, that shit was classic, bro. Classic but that, see, that that's, that's, that's too hard to answer, so. Yeah, Tommy, that's a good one, though. I damn really I leave it like it is, bro. Yeah, Cause on some real shit, I I actually want to like. That's another thing that I'm trying to work on too as a skit show. Some in the vein of Chibi Mad TV yeah. and Living Color. Yeah. The thing about it is, any when you come to anything, you you y'all need support. Meaning yeah. a team. Yeah, yeah, it ain't fact. necessarily about people sharing your shit. It's, you can't run a business or do a, anything by yourself. No, no, hell no. You so help, to dog. find determined people that like I I can write out all this shit and do all it, but. If I don't have 13 serious people who want yeah, to do skits every other... Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. going to be wasted, bro. Hell yeah, dog. Hell yeah. Uh, towards the end, dog, top three, bro. I give you a, a category. You give me your top three. Okay. Top three childhood crush. Uh, shit. Kyler Pratt. All right. Um, the, uh, remember, um, the movie... Uh, Ease by you. Yeah, 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 yeah. The little light skin yeah, girl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know oh, you're yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. I was in love with her, bro. All right, and yeah. um, she, uh, Janet, the typical Janet Jackson, yeah, bro. Hell I was, yeah. man. Hell don't yeah, get nigga. me started on Janet. Remember my cousin, dog. Got, almost got me in trouble. Nigga, beat was beating his meat to that Janet. Uh, <laughs> What's crazy? I didn't like older <laughs> Janet, but younger Janet, nigga. Was oh bad. yeah. Fuck, yeah. bro. I like. I had. I love Janet when she was on Pro Ed Justice. Uh, yeah, like, bro. It's the nose, yeah. her little Tinkerbell yeah. nose, bro. Hell yeah, motherfucker. Jan Jan. I just love that motherfucker, dog. Give me your top three food. Top three food. Tomatoes. I, t I, I eat tomatoes. So all you just day. eat a tomato? Yeah, bro. God damn. I cut that I... bitch up, put yeah. salt on the bacon bitch, nigga. I tear tomatoes up, bro. God damn. I know, yeah. yeah. Um, tomatoes. Fucking greens. Mm. Look, nigga. Give me oh, some collard greens, bro. I was about to say, what kind, though? Collard, collard greens, greens yeah, you bro. Gotta, I ain't no turnip here. I ain't no yeah. white person. They got that extra <laughs> shit, bro. Yeah, With yeah. collards, nigga. And uh, what's another thing that I just smash all. 
some good ass ribs, bro. Okay, okay, hell I yeah. I tear some nigga. My face look like a little kid. <laughs> Barbecue <laughs> sauce on my cheeks. Grease face ass and shit. <laughs> <laughs> hell no. Give me your top three. Uh, give me your top three TV shows. Top three TV shows. I'm gonna go Wayne's Brothers. Hold on, hold on, man. Let me dab you real quick, dog. <laughs> <laughs> this nigga hate Wayne Brothers. Why? Dog. He said trash. No hell no, dog. bro. Wayne's Wayne bro Brothers without pops, it's trash. No, bro. Dog, I dog. it's crazy that I, I was just talking to my homeboy about this shit. Pops added a lot, but in their own way, Sean and Marlon did add a lot too. Like we look yeah. at Sean character, he was the straight man to Marlon's bullshit. Yeah, hell yeah. So he was he Tell he's the nigga, person man. that react to all of Mark. You can't have two dumb motherfuckers, bro. Yeah. You need some type yeah, of demographic. Yeah. No, so I watch that show all the time, nigga. Yeah, That's a classic Wayne, dog. Bro. <laughs> Wayne's bros yeah, yeah, fucking nigga. um damn we can do anime shows too. I mean, yeah. Oh, Simpsons. Yeah. The older, old, oh, way yeah. older Simpsons. Simpsons. Man, my brothers go crazy. Make sure we got to the crib watch Simpsons and shit. Man, God, I, shit, I learned a lot of, from writing off the Simpsons too. Hell yeah. And fucking, um, shit, different world. Yeah, different world. Yeah, that's All some right, shit. Yeah. yeah, niggas sleep on different world, though. I, I slept on it until, I ain't gonna lie, until of, of, of recent, though. Like, I just been watching the hell out of it because it's been on TV one. I mean, what? I used to always, because it, it was fucked up, bro. Just growing up in the hood and shit, I never just felt like that yeah. I would go to college. So yeah, yeah, for sure. That I just like, used a different world yeah, to that's get what that was experience, about a bit. bro. Yeah, yeah, that kind of gave you that that I want to go and shit and see what it's like. Yeah, yeah. dog. Hell yeah, goddamn uh, fucking Willie. Uh, I'm about to say Khadija. I'm thinking about living single. <laughs> 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 Willie, my motherfucker. Uh, uh, Jada and that bitch looking yep, good. Yep. Uh, they had some they had nice little chicks in that motherfucker. Mm -hmm. White girl from the first season was good in that bitch. Couple, man, what? Uh, Jasmine guy? When yeah, she yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Give me your uh, give me your top three hood movies. Top three hood movies. Shit, South Central. Yeah. Fucking um, Baller Blocking. I used to watch no, Baller Blocking watch shit. every day, nigga, bro. Hell yeah. I skipped school, bro, and all my niggas came over to watch that shit, no, bro. That was a shit, dog. Baller Blocking and um, shit um, about it. About it. Hell yeah, hell yeah, dog. Nigga, cell phone. That was the first. That was the first no, hood like movie hood that though, I. Right? Cell phone, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but uh, about it, um, that that was the first hood movie that like when yeah, I was younger yeah. I literally watched, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah the yeah. underground movie from a rapper yeah, and yeah, shit, yeah, nigga. Dog, dog. For sure. but, I, ball blocking though is my shit. I mean, I bought the movie, everything, dog, mm -hmm. from Suncoast, nigga. Got the motherfucking movie and shit in that bitch, dog, and nigga, I just watch that shit, nigga, at least once every week, nigga. Two, um, two notable, uh, just they not on the list, but they close. Yeah. Fucking choices. Yeah. And um. Killer season. Killer season. <laughs> Killer I, I season that shit so long, shit, dog. State property, though. I understand. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that, I, that was my shit, too, though. State property, Yeah, dog. state property one and two. Oh, yeah. It was straight as hell, bro. Like I said before the show, dog, we always end every show, dog, with a high moment or a jump moment, dog. Just a funny story when you was one of, or both. Let me see, bro, because I done did so much shit, bro. And I already know, even whatever story I'm going to say, niggas going to hear shit like, man, that shit ain't crazy, bro. <laughs> 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 and nigga, that's the craziest shit you done did, bro. <laughs> nigga. But uh, I'm going to just, as far as drunk, bro, I remember, dog, I got so fucked up, nigga. Oh, paint the picture, man. What was you drinking, dog? Uh, shit. We was mixing white and dark. Oh, yeah. So you was it was just one of them nights, nigga. Yeah. I was younger, too. I, I ain't yeah, know the know rules about, yeah, 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 I ain't know the rules. Not only that, nigga. Before we even got to the bar, bro, yeah. we so young, and you already know when you young, you just ante up and just get anything, yeah, nigga. <laughs> nigga, just get liquor, nigga. <laughs> bro, what the? We got some. Uh, Nikolai, nigga. Yeah. Duh. We was already zombies before yeah. we got in the fucking bar, nigga. Yeah. <laughs> I took a couple shots, nigga, just different shit, nigga. I'm at the bar, bro. I'm just sitting there, banging my head, and I'm just like, all on the bar, uh, uh, bar table, like yeah, all Duh. on the bar. He turned around like, man, what the fuck, bro? I was just like, <laughs> Duh. Just lay my fucking, Duh. my whole boy T like, what the fuck, bro? We gotta get him home, Duh. bro. Duh. I laid in that shit, bro. That, so he, he cuts you out. You just put your head down, nigga. bro. This nigga, I just lay my all this shit, throw up, nigga. I get in the car, they put me in the car. This nigga, he got his mama car, yeah. My homeboy Lil D like, please don't throw up in it. Bro, she do not know. Like, I'm just like, dog, it's coming, it's coming. Duh. He flying, bro, nigga. Oh, yeah, that really make your shit sick. Bro, when I say I got to the crib, still got to the crib. Like I said, I'm younger. Yeah. I'm at, I'm, I, I do my people's crib. Yeah. Now I'm in my room, I lay on the bed, boom, throw it all on the cover. I laid in that shit, bro. I, I couldn't even get up. I, bro, snow ain't, and I woke up <laughs> the next morning like... 
Like you see this, I'm like, Duh. oh, the shit. St-. I'm like, dog. That Duh. was the day that I said I have a limit. Yeah. Don't go past Hell that yeah. bitch, bro. Like no, that was you, it. You younger, dog. You just you drinking to get drunk. Yeah. When you get older, you drinking. You to get drink buzz. to get a buzz, yeah, bro. Yeah, feel good. You do not like like being drunk no more. I know. I after that, I was like, yeah, I'm straight. Yeah, because every night we used to go out, we was drinking to get drunk. Niggas used to get so fucked and then go to work. Like literally two hours later, bro. This Duh. shit, no sleeping. Man, I wouldn't dare do that shit. I have a heart attack. In that bitch. <laughs> Ah, pass the fuck <laughs> out, bro. Duh. I remember, nigga, one time we got high before work, nigga. That was the funniest shit ever. I don't smoke. So, nigga, we was cleaning, nigga, vacuuming uh, schools, dog. And, nigga, my uh, my boy Ray was like, dog, let's smoke before we go. I'm like, all right, whatever. It's Friday. Nigga, I was in one room, nigga, and that bitch is going ham. I'm trying to get out this bitch, dog, but I keep, <laughs> I keep vacuuming the same spot in that bitch, dog. This nigga like, dog, you been in that bitch for 30 minutes. <laughs> bro, I used to work at McDonald's, nigga. And I used to smoke on break, and it was one of them McDonald's. I didn't give a fuck. Bro, I was so high, nigga. The cookies came out of the, of the bacon oven, bro. Yeah. And, you know, you use the metal sheet and shit. <laughs> bro, I did not have no gloves on. I pulled that bitch out. Duh. I'm holding that bitch. High as hell. Just like, <laughs> my man looked at me like, bro, what the fuck? Duh. Yo, man, they burning? I'm like, hey, they burn. Oh, oh shit. <laughs> ah, blue drop. Bro, that shit. Dog, they got bubbles in bitch. Bro, from my feet, all this bubble, bro. Dog. I was that guy. I didn't even feel it until, until this nigga looked and said, bro, what the fuck? And then as soon as I looked down, it felt like as soon as I looked down, that shit was like, <laughs> Motherfucker hit your whole body. Whole nigga. body, nigga. My nipples like, oh, hey, what duh. the fuck, bro? Duh. <laughs> Hell, dog, dog, yeah, niggas do some wild shit when they drunk or high, bro, dog. That shit funny as hell, dog. Well, shit, man, I appreciate you coming as a motherfucker, dog. Thank you, man. That's a funny appreciate shit, dog. Y'all Got some ideas for you, shit, man. I'm about to go ahead and make sure I call you on them bitches. Yeah, but, uh, bro. Shit, tell people where they can follow you at, dog. Shit, you can follow me on Instagram at RealWheel313. And yeah, once you follow me there, because I don't really fuck with Facebook, yeah. I'm about to start the Twitter and I'm about to start streaming on Twitch with video games and shit. So just follow me on Instagram first and we'll settle all that shit later. <laughs> <laughs> any, any, uh, anything you want to leave people with, dog? Any messages, um, dog? Anybody who want to get into acting, whether you want to be an extra, just want to learn about this shit or shit, uh, you want to be involved in some of the shit that I said because I be needing people. Mm-hmm. Um, shit, just follow me even if you want your music promoted or you just need a helping hand, bro. That's just the nigga I am. You know, I'm a cool ass nigga, so sure. just follow me, Real Will 313. Yeah, well, that's his history, nigga. Hell yeah, man. That's a man. That's a man. <laughs> Follow me. Dog. All right, man. Shit, like I said, man. 103, my nigga, real will on this bitch, dog. Shivers A by Voice of Detroit, man. Holla at y'all, boys. Yeah.